hi you guys welcome back to my channel today's video will be uh, my granddaughter's baby shower so if you like to uh, see what I've done stay tuned for more you guys here's a little vignette that I set up for you to get kind of get an overall feel of the things that I used and uh, I want to talk about the things that I made for the baby shower uh, I made these signs here with the owls on them uh, well my husband made them for me I just told him how I wanted to look and this is how they turned out these frames I purchased from the Hobby Lobby also that pink K and the white K I purchased from Michaels and the little tool skirt at the bottom I made and the tool topiary in the back I made and the flowers are from the Walmart. Um, this was a co-ed baby shower you guys. Our colors were pink, white, and chocolate brown and here is our invitation. Uh, it says look who's having a baby girl. I uh, absolutely love this. Uh, invitation I got it from Etsy.com and this little ribbon at the top came with it you can tie them on yourself or you can have the lady tie them on for you uh, but I chose to tie them on myself because it was cheaper but this has a chevron border uh, we also use chevron in the baby shower in case I didn't mention that but these were absolutely cute and adorable and it was really easy to order and she shipped really fast and they're just cute as a button. I just love them. Okay, you guys, and here is that K that I purchased from the Hobby Lobby. You'll see how I use that later on uh, in this video. And in, here is the tulle skirt that I made for the diaper cake. A better shot of that. And here is that uh, topiary that I made. Give you a better look at the uh, topiary here. And this is made out of pink and white top, uh, tool. I don't know if you can tell that or not. And it had sparkle on the tool, so that's why it looked so sparkly. Uh, and I just loved how it turned out. I thought it looked like cotton candy, so that's why I put it on the candy bar. And it's just made out of this foam here on this stick. It's double, two balls. Uh, and here is a clay pot that I spray painted white. And I uh, hot glued brown owl ribbon around the top. And you'll see how I use these flowers later on in the video also. Okay, and here's the mason jar. I uh, got this idea off Etsy. They were a little too pricey, so I decided to DIY them myself. So I picked up some jars from the Walmart and I spray paint, well, I had my husband spray paint them pink for me. And then I tied tulle around the top and I put pink and white carnations in it that I also picked up from the Walmart. And I think they were like a dollar a bunch. So I just cut the bunch and I think about like five of them and I had plenty enough to make uh, my centerpieces and these were the centerpieces for the table here is the sign in sign it says who's here please sign in oh that is so cute I just loved how that turned out um, and this big ginormous pin here is for uh, a baby shower game that we played and here is the sign in family tree everyone put their thumbprint on here and then they sign their thumbprint and here is the owl family that comes on the tree and I absolutely love how this turned out and I purchased this also from Etsy.com I'll leave all the information in the description box below on where I purchased this from and it says welcome to the world you can also get it in uh, different colors for the uh, monogramming hope you had a hootin tootin good time thanks for coming 
this was on the candy bar uh, as people were leaving they made candy bags to take home little goodie bags to take home so this was on the candy bar okay my tip for this uh, video is to make yourself a program I made a program to help uh, stay on task and to actually give this to my aunt because she was the MC and I wanted her to have something to reference to uh, so we wouldn't have to stop she wouldn't have to stop and ask what's next what we're doing next and I had to tell her and all this and that so I made a program so happy I did wish I would have done this in the past on um, past baby showers that I host but you know hey you learn so I learned from now on I will be making a program um, here I'm going to give you a little rundown of how the program how you know we wrote out the program um, we did a welcome and what to expect during the baby shower and then uh, we as you might can see here we played one two three games and you can see it says last out all shower long on these first three games those games lasted throughout the baby shower and then uh, we opened the buffet and we ate from 30 to 45 minutes and then we played some more games uh, and then you can see here it says 215 opening gifts 245 we're going to cut the cake and have coffee and then after that we played one two three four five more games and then four o'clock we wrapped it up it was over and this program helped us stay on time and stay on task and stay on our mission and we got to do everything we wanted to do and we had a good time and we had fun and we played a lot of games and you'll see that uh, in the next clip you guys but we played a lot of games and we had a really good time and I just want to thank my aunt Lynn for uh, coming all the way here to Louisiana and helping me host and you did an awesome job thank you okay you guys I wanted to share this really quick with you these pens that I made the owl pen not the writing pen uh, the owl pen here it says mommy to be so my daughter wore this obviously I only made these for uh, my granddaughter's parents grandparents great-grandparents her aunt and her uncles uh, so the guests would know who we are to the baby and the names that we will be called by her um, so I'm her grandmother and she will call me Gigi and Gigi stands for glamorous grandmother uh, because I am too young to be called grandmother so I will be her Gigi and she's my Coco and I love her to death she's the sweetest baby ever don't we all say that about our kids how they're the sweetest the cutest babies but I do I really do love her and she's truly a blessing to this family so moving right along here is a list of the games that we played. I want to talk about two of these games on this list. I'm not going to go into detail on all these games, but I want to talk about the Pregnant Man game, which was absolutely funny. It was so hilarious. This is for uh, you guys who are planning a couple's baby shower to have all the men come up to the front and you hand each man a, a balloon that's already uh, blowed up and they have to take the balloon and put it under their shirt. And the object of the game is for them to birth their baby out without using their hands or their elbows or their arms. They can run, they can jump, they can wiggle, they can do a dance. I wish I had a video on this, you guys, but I don't. But I do have some pictures for you for you to see. Uh, but it was absolutely fun. And I believe that the men enjoy playing this game, believe it or not. Uh, so... And then the next game I want to talk to you about is the Baby Lotto and Raffle Tickets. Now, if you like to raise funds for mommy-to-be, uh, you can sell these at your baby shower. Uh, you just need to let your guests know ahead of time. So what I did was uh, put an insert inside the invitation that I sent. And on there, I just typed that uh, 
to bring your two dollars for a uh, baby lotto and raffle tickets we'll be selling them and i just sold them as a set two for two so you got two tickets for two dollars and we raised quite a bit of money for uh my daughter to use for the baby uh after that so that's a tip for you guys to sell baby lotto tickets to raise funds for mommy to be to use later on, you know, when diapers are starting to get low or, you know, anything that the baby might need later on. So at each place setting was a game sheet, a diaper pen, and a writing pen. And the game sheet was just for two of the games, named that uh, baby song game, and to guess how many diapers uh, was in a diaper cake. So you had to guess how many diapers in the diaper cake right here on the right hand side and you would write your number down and whoever came the closest without going over was the winner. I don't know if I explained it to you, but yeah, that's how you played it anyway. And then the other side is for you to write down the artist and the name of the songs uh, that were being played. And the winner of that game of the name that baby song uh, game won a copy, a CD of all the songs that we played so they got us received a cd with 15 songs that we played during the game as their prize for that game so that's a little tip you can make them a cd copy of the uh, uh of the songs from the game and you'll see a picture of that uh coming up in the video and here's the winner of the don't say baby game here I am selling baby lotto and raffle tickets to guests. And here is the winner of the Name That Baby Song game, the copy of their CD. And here is uh, Make My Onesie Setup. And the instructions on how to make your shirt. And here is my mom making her great granddaughter shirt. And here's another shirt someone made. And some more. And here are some trophies that I made. I got this idea off of Pinterest. Um, it's a baby bottle that I hot glued onto a little uh, pedal stool. And I had my husband spray paint them for me, gold, silver, and bronze. And the winners of the Make My Onesie contest won these trophies we had a first second and third place winner so they received a trophy and a gift and i had my daughter pick the winners okay as promised here are the pregnant men playing the pregnant uh man game uh like i said this was this was so funny so hilarious you should have seen them uh, really trying to work their balloons out so they can be the winner, but they had I think they had a uh, fun time playing it the men folk and Us women folk had a fun time laughing at them So if you're like I said if you're doing a couple's baby shower, you guys should really really uh, play this game Okay, and here's some centerpieces And here is uh, that K um, I just took uh, one of those foam balls and I cut cut it in half and then I stuck all these carnations in it and then I put the K uh, stuck the K on top of that and this is sitting on uh, the little uh, table that was reserved for my daughter and my granddaughter's father uh, they had their own little table like a little sweetheart table so I put that on there uh, for them for their table and here are the proud parents And here's my uh, diaper cake that I made in the little tutu skirt around the bottom. I also made that. And here is uh, the cake table. Got a little owl on top of the cake. And here's the setup of the buffet. Okay, you guys, here's the candy bar. Uh, the candy bar was a party favor for the guests at the end of the baby shower. As you can, I don't know if you can tell here, but all the candy uh, that I 
used on the candy bar was pink and white and we had gummies gum taffy um it's a girl uh hershey kisses uh jelly beans marshmallow poles white cover chalk uh white chocolate covered pretzels and i can't remember what else i believe some goodies and I can't remember the rest, but yeah. And then I made a little labels to uh, put in front of each candy to let guests know what candy was what. And there are my little uh, tool topiary balls that I made. My little owl sign from earlier. And I just uh, decorated the uh, apothecary jars with ribbon and flowers and um scrapbooking stickers and i thought it turned out really cute everybody was saying how cute the uh, candy bar was well you guys that concludes this video i hope you enjoyed it sorry i didn't have actual video footage of the uh baby shower had i known that i was would be starting my own youtube channel i would have definitely recorded it for you guys but unfortunately all i have are pictures uh, so I, I hope you enjoyed it and thank you for watching and follow me on Facebook, uh, Instagram, and Pinterest, you guys. Uh, so take care. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.